making art is a human activity and it's consumed by humans. That's another human activity. Uh, I think if robots make art, that might be very interesting for other robots. Everything depends on the training set that is used and the selection of the training set. And so, um, if you like, the, the pattern recognition algorithm itself may not be critically important so long as it's good, but the selection of a training set is everything. And I have a two different points to make here. One is that the standard way of doing it really only produces new generative works that are new examples of something we've already got. So I can say, here's a photograph of a chair. Please make it look as if it was painted by Van Gogh. Okay. And it can, it's easily done, that kind of thing. Right. Um, but that's, to me, very boring because it's just another example of the same thing. And that is maybe interesting for a book illustrator, for example, but it's not interesting for an artist because it's not moving anything forward. It's just more of the same. Noam Chomsky said it's uh, he he called this kind of thing uh, not creative but uh, plagiarist. All it's doing is copying something else and producing a slightly different variation on it. Uh, and so, to artists, to serious artists, I think that's extremely boring. And it's boring really because the training sets are, are not actually chosen by those artists. The training sets. Uh, chosen by, I don't know, a few guys in California or whatever. Uh, and we don't even know what the training set was. So that's very kind of disturbing from a creative point of view. So the interesting way to use this technology is to supply the training set for the artist to supply the training set or choose it. Right. And for example, people are doing this, uh, for example, recording dancing and using the recording of the dances to train an AI system to produce some dynamic uh, work, visual work, as a result of that. Now there, in doing that, the artist is taking control of all the important features of the work and doing something new and interesting. So it is quite possible to use this technology to do new and interesting work. But the kind of stuff that just says, I'll have another one in the style of Suzanne or Van Gogh or whoever, you know, that is fun, but it's uninteresting to art, in my opinion. However, just to, to footnote on this, is that the AI that I have used over the many years, including what I talked about back 50 years, 50 odd years ago, uh, it, it's much broader. It doesn't just mean using neural nets and pattern recognition, it means other forms, symbolic AI, for example. Um, so it's a, it's a broader subject.